that's a great segue. So you've also been reading the book, The Deficit Myth, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts in terms of how all of this in a way changes your perspective with crypto and Bitcoin. All right, great. So I, I'd love to get into it. So I read charts for a living, so I don't like reading entire books. And I read <laughs> enough of this book to get the yeah. point. Okay, yeah. so here's what these guys want to do. They think that a government that issues their own currency doesn't really have to balance their budget. So you're a household, you have to balance your budget, but the government doesn't have to because it can just print more money. Okay, but after they tell you that the government deficit doesn't matter, they throw this line in somewhere where they go, well, climate change is important. And oh, by the way, we're going to tax the rich for sport. Tax revenue doesn't matter, but we're going to tax the rich for sport. Okay. So yes, Jeff Bezos bought a $165 million bachelor pad right before COVID hit. So I'm a, I'm a little jealous, you know, <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. Okay. But I'm not sure why the MMT guys want to hit him for sport. Okay. So on one hand, they want to get money to the people so that people can eat and survive. On the other hand, they want to tax the rich. Okay. So let's assume all that happens. What does the world look like? Okay. And this is where I think crypto comes in. Okay. So let's talk about part one. It's called digital dollar. Okay. So what the central bank will do is you'll have an account with the Fed and it'll be a blockchain, go to a wallet and you'll, you'll get like the digital dollar. And you will be able to use digital dollar to purchase certain goods, right? I mean, you won't be able to buy a Lamborghini or a diamond ring with it, okay? But you might be able to buy food, clothing, you know, lawn chairs, coolers, barbecue, you know, anything that you need to sort of sustain yourself regardless of whether we're sort of in a normal world or in a not normal world. Okay, to allow you to pay rent and other things with the money that you have. And you, who knows, you may even be able to use it for housing and cars, but they're going to specify what you use digital dollar for. Okay, now that sounds good. That might create inflation, that probably creates inflation. Okay, but what happens when you do that? Okay, so someone's going to say, All right, I, I get it. Like, you know, Food and food and blue jeans is on Uncle Sam. So I got a little extra money. What am I going to do with it? Well, we don't have to tell you that, right? <laughs> okay, now let's flip over to the rich people. Okay, so let's just say that, you know, I don't know, the government goes with some medieval 70% tax rate above a certain level just for sport, right? All right, so rich people are going to change how they get paid, Okay. How did rich people get rich in this environment, especially in Silicon Valley? Well, they got bonuses. They work at tech companies. The tech companies gave them stock. And every year they get you know, more stock bonuses and then old stock bonuses they start to vest, which means they can start selling the stock. All right. So that's probably a little bit too technical, but basically what happens is they got a bunch of stock and the stocks just went up and up and up and up. They just exploded right? Over a period of five years. So if you worked in NVIDIA for 10 years, you know, say you're just a six figure engineer, you wound up a, a possibly a multimillionaire because of what the stock did. Okay. And then you sell that stock and you're paying a long-term capital gains tax of what, you know, 14% or whatever it is. All right. So in an MMT world, where your income above a certain level is all going to Uncle Sam, then everybody's income or salary will be flat. And perhaps instead of get paid in stock, because who knows what MMT does to stocks, right? You might get paid in Bitcoin or Bitcoin futures, like backed, right? I mean, they, they pay you in a stock account. If they're going to take all your money, you'll figure out how to open a futures account. Just, uh, just, just. <laughs> And you can exercise, you can use futures to get physical Bitcoin. Now, 
when you get your physical Bitcoin, well, you can do one of two things with it. I mean, you can spend it and buy stuff with Bitcoin, okay, or Ethereum or whatever. So you'll have potentially a parallel economy. You'll have the digital dollar economy and you'll have a Bitcoin economy running sort of separately. Because if it creates inflation, digital dollar, the Bitcoin and the Ether is going to help you or whatever the coin is, right? And then, you know, rich people can hold on to that and perhaps watch it appreciate over time. And they can raise capital gains tax rates only so far. The population is aging, right? Old people need to sell stuff to live. They can't just take all the money from old people. So if people are getting Bitcoin and crypto in a world where everyone's taking, you know, rich people out to the woodshed, you know, and, and they're trying to legitimately help poor people live, I think there's definitely a place for crypto, right? Not to mention all those people that are getting digital dollars, right? They're like, you know, I got some digital dollars and I might not be able to exchange it for Bitcoin, but hey, this Bitcoin thing's really interesting, right? Like, I go to the store and I buy like clothes and, you know, frozen pizza. But hey, check out, check out what's going on with Bitcoin. So, and I've already got a wallet here for cryptocurrency. So bottom line is this. In order for MMT to work, everybody's got to have an account with the Fed. And in order for the Fed to keep track of what everyone's doing with digital dollar, it's got to be on a blockchain. <laughs> it just has to be. Right? So... If, if MMT needs blockchain to work, that's got to only help crypto. So I, I'm, I didn't buy into the whole print money, tax the rich, we don't need crypto. I, I think these MMT guys, if they get in power, um, you know, it, it's a dream come true for us. Right. Well said, well said. A good take on that, Bill. All right. Uh, let us know what you think down in the comments below.